Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to review nine essential directional terms used in anatomy. As you move through anatomy and you learn about all the different body systems, these terms are going to come up again and again. So knowing what they mean now is going to stop you from having to blindly memorize later. It's helpful if you think of these terms as pairs, which are opposite to each other. So superior means higher, and the opposite of superior is inferior, which means lower. Then if you imagine that your body has a line going down the center, splitting it into left and right, that would be your midline. Anything that is farther away from the midline is lateral. Things that are closer to the midline are medial. Then if you imagine you split your body into a front half and a back half, anything closer to the back would be called posterior or dorsal, while anything closer to the front would be anterior or ventral. You should also remember that these terms are comparative. So if I say that this is the superior border of my eye socket, then this would be the inferior border of my eye socket. Just because it's on the head doesn't mean that it can't be inferior. We're just comparing it to a point on the head which is higher. You should also keep in mind that these terms are referring to a person standing in anatomical position. So anatomical position with your palms facing outward. We say that the thumb is lateral because in that position it is farther away from the midline when compared to the pinky which would be medial. And there's a third term we sometimes use, intermediate. Intermediate just means it's in between a point which is medial and a point which is lateral. Then lastly, um, if we were looking at the hips, the point in the front would be anterior compared to this point in the back, which would be posterior.